Greetings everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about the Dynamic Power Redistributor Module, or DPRM for short. This console has reached an almost mythical status among players who haven't had the chance to get one for themselves. The DPRM is one of the best consoles in the game, that's no lie, but I see a lot of people on Reddit saying they want to use their campaign event reward on the Atlas just so they can get this console. I'm worried that people think this console is going to do something for them that it won't. So today we're going to do some testing to see just how much of a difference it actually makes. And we're going to talk about shipbuilding and why no console, even the DPRM, is going to make or break your build. At the end of the day, the Atlas is a great ship with a lot more to offer than just the DPRM. It looks great, has good fundamentals, and excellent pets. So I'm not going to tell people they shouldn't get it. But I want to show you what to expect if you plan to pick it up just for the console so you can make an informed and educated decision. I ran Infected Space Advance three times each using two different builds. These were all pug runs done through the public queue. The first build is just the regular build I have on my free-to-play engineer, who happens to have the DPRM because he got it when they were still affordable for KDF players. The second build is the exact same build, but I've just removed the DPRM console. I haven't even replaced it with anything, I just removed it. I'm going to put the results of these six runs up on the screen in order from least DPS to most. They range from 94k all the way up to 150k, which happens to be his all-time parse. Can you guess which runs were the ones of the DPRM and which weren't? While you ponder that for a moment, I'll just point out that on one of the lower parses I had something happen to me that I've talked about on this channel a couple of times already. I had a teammate who had better DPS than me, but was also faster. I was flying a scimitar, and while I had plenty of speed boosts, it isn't the speediest vessel in the galaxy. I kept getting to the targets after they did, and it really dragged my DPS down. This is why speed matters. Okay, so I'm going to color the DPRM dots orange and the ones without blue. Surprised? I didn't cherry pick these either. I did the three DPRM runs first then took it off and did the three without. This is just what happened. While it's true that the best run had it and the worst didn't, it's hard to tell the difference overall. The runs with the DPRM had an average DPS of 123k, while the runs without had an average of 116. I did a z-test that came down on the side of the null hypothesis with a p-value of 0.67, which means that there's no significant difference. In layman's terms, that means that the difference between the two sets of runs is more likely to be caused by just normal everyday variation than some fundamental difference between them. The difference in average DPS is only about 5%, which is admittedly pretty good for a console. I'm sure some of you familiar with statistics are crying foul at my laughable sample size, and I have no defense for that. Thankfully, I'm putting this on YouTube and not submitting it to the AMA. The results would probably be different with a proper sample size, but even if a larger sample showed a bigger difference, the point I'm trying to make here is that the DPRM is probably an order of magnitude less impactful than it has been made out to be. And that kind of change in the data isn't going to happen even if I did 100 runs. There's something else to mention. The DPRM isn't just good for damage. It also has the ability to save you from death with its massive survival boost while under 80% hull. As an engineer, I already have an emergency button as a captain ability, so maybe I'm not giving it enough credit, and that's probably true. Tactical and science captains get even more out of it than us engineers do. As a 2-in-1 console, it's very efficient. People have claimed that the Domino is better for DPS than the DPRM is, and that may be true, but it's also less versatile. Plus, you could just use both. Having said that, there are something like six dozen different choices that you can make when putting together a ship. Between the weapons, boff powers, active doff roster, consoles, reputation traits, etc. Then you have to factor in all the variance that naturally comes from just playing the game. How well did you pilot your ship? How much did your teammates help you, or in some cases overshadow you? How lucky were you with your crits, and so on. Some things are going to make a bigger difference than others, but overall no one thing is ever going to have that much of an impact. It's far more important to have your house in order when it comes to the fundamentals, than to chase after one magic weapon, trait, console, or whatever. Those are the things you go after to refine and polish your build after you have the basics covered. So, is it worth it to pick up the Atlas just for the console? In my opinion, no. I think it might be worth it to pick up the Atlas because it's a great ship that also includes great pets, 
and the total package is something worth having, but if all you care about from the Atlas is the console, then I would consider other options for your EC or your event reward. Ask yourself what you think it's going to do for you, then consider what I've shown you, and look for ways to get what you want for less resources. Only when you've exhausted everything else should you be looking at such expensive and incremental upgrades. And keep in mind, I didn't replace it with a different console in my tests. I was riding one console down, so I probably could have made the results even closer. This video might be seen as controversial, I don't know, but I wanted to set the record straight. The DPRM absolutely deserves the title of best console in the game, but no console, even the best console, is going to double your DPS, or make your wife come back to you, or resurrect your dead dog. I'm afraid there just are no silver bullets. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if there are other topics for videos you'd like to see. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of my content in the future. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.